the moving handrail and place the grip. Expressing my frustration when it comes towards censorship, right? Oh, freaking hell. It's freaking hot right now in the UK. Oh, boy. I can't even see myself anymore. It's a car coming out there. It's mad. Oh, let me just adjust uh, the brightness there. Much better. I look like a freaking ghost right there. And uh, what can I say? It's a beautiful day here in the UK, in London, and uh, yeah, I think, did I just, uh, you know what, did I just got censor, you know, for speaking out the truth about piling, you know, Western media, let's, let's put this thing, see, this is my frustration when it comes to us, um, what is happening right now in the Western media, right, you know, when people say, oh, they have freedom <laughs> in the West, and I always say, are you kidding me? We don't have freedom at all. We really don't have freedom. If you really think you have freedom, you're delusional. I think you're living in cuckoo land. Absolutely, right? You know, I did a video not long ago, I think a couple of days ago, I posted on my channel, and I talked about, you know, the dying state of Canada. You know, you see the crime, it's rampant, people are being attacked randomly, you know, and I compare that to Poland and I was stating some of the things I experienced like in Poland, some of the things I saw over there and uh, everything I said wasn't misleading and even the start of the video as well basically I give you I think I gave the viewers a notice what to expect it, it will be graphic you know and then when I check back on my on my YouTube studio and I saw the video has been blocked overseas, everywhere, do you know and I was like wow, yeah, this, this is really frustrating it could be, of course, maybe, maybe the, the, some of the footage I use you know, maybe someone claim or report the video it could be that, or maybe whoever owned that footage maybe they claim a copyright it could be all of that and then maybe that's why they block it well, I, I stated so many things that it's pretty much that is worse, that is not telling well in the Western world. In so many ways, you know, that video speak volume, isn't it? So, it's a bit let down, I put so much time and effort into that. And uh, it's what it is. We move on to the next chapter. And speaking of chapter, I can't even speak properly, it's been a long day. Actually, I went to the airport and yeah, basically, I got back home, dropped my mum at home, so now I have more time to myself and then now I can, you know, yeah, I can just finish up this chapter. Get on the way to the airport and Gatwick. It's not a brilliant airport, isn't it? Absolutely falling. And um, for those who haven't responded to you in the comment section, I apologise, you know. And the one thing I've noticed as well is the channel continues to grow. And of course, it will attract so many people that have different opinions, different mindsets. You know, people love me, people despise me, people really hate me, you understand? You know, so it is what it is, you know. It makes me feel like I'm doing something right. I'm not going to give up, though. That's the thing about 
helped me. I've been doing this thing for so long. I have so much experience, right? And of course, you know, I don't want to put something out there that will traumatize someone out there. You know, in everything I do, I try my best. I have to think first before I act upon it, you understand? So, and so far I've composed myself. I don't have any manager like, to, to direct me or whatever. I'm the manager. I'm the director, I'm the CEO, I'm the editor, I'm the, I'm the, I'm the presenter, you know, I do everything, I, I'm the researcher, you know, basically, I do it all. I'm a man of many talents. I shouldn't praise myself, but I'll praise myself right now, you know, why not? And then, yeah, you know, it's what, it's frustrating, man, you know. So that's the thing, I don't believe on the Western media anymore, you know, I, I really don't. Because um, if you start stating the fact too much, right, exposing so many things, you know, they will come for you. The MI5, the FBI, you know, the CIA, they will come for you. But please don't come for me, all right? And uh, I don't think my mum will love that. <laughs> you understand? But anyways, well, it is what it is, man. Um, I hope that the CIA is not behind uh, the reason why that video was deleted. I hope not. Or the MI5. <laughs> That's a big accusation, isn't it? No, I'm not accusing you though. Don't sue me, all right? I'm just a, you know, let's say, clueless YouTuber. Yeah, that's right. Um, what can I say? Let me just digress. I don't want to get into trouble. I'm just joking. If you don't know sense of humor, and uh, please get out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm a very resp respectful kind of guy, you know. I, I, don't, I don't see anything because of um, the way I look. That's the reason why people are treating me in some way. Nah, I don't have that kind of mentality. Uh, I'm well travelled. I'll say I'm very educated. Anyways, um, in terms of Poland, man, it's a country. If I wasn't moving to let's say to Asia, it's a country I would definitely consider. And the reason why, because it's not too far away from the UK as well, so it will be much easier for me like to come back to the UK on a short trip because it's only about like I think around like two hours on Ryanair come back to the UK, see family, you know, it'll be much easier. My time in Poland are just numbers, ticking down too fast for my liking. It is true, Krakow is a mysterious place, and it will grab you, and you will come back for more. Well, unfortunately, um, due to so many reasons, right, I just feel like my my entire, you know, I don't know how to, I don't know how to put this thing. I think my life right now, I think I'm made in the right direction. My life right now, basically, I think it's more revolve around Asia. Whether it be in Southeast Asia or East Asia, you know, briefly I was in Taiwan, you know, fantastic, beautiful highland, splendid, a lovely people, language barrier is mad, you know, and then now, I'll be heading back to East Asia, I'm moving there very soon, getting all my paperwork in, in order before I finalise my moving in August, right, in China. I know hopefully everything goes as planned this time, so I love Asia, you know, I love Poland. And it's a country I'll say definitely if you ever got the chance to visit, very underrated. You know, in the West there, yeah, uh, most people, I'll say, maybe have this idea like Eastern European countries or Central European countries are very backward it's not it's not a lot of good thing happening there well you'll be amazed you'll be surprised when you go there look through my channel you've seen a glance of what Poland is like there's so many other cities and places to check out you understand and fun fact is like basically Poland is even bigger than the UK and that is fact and I think someone actually mentioned that not too long ago in one of the video, much bigger. Well, in terms of population, surely the UK is more superior, isn't it? And of course, and they have some fantastic kebab there. I can't believe it. The kebab in Poland are lovely. Of course, I love the, the bugus, the bugusht, and uh, yeah, I love that food. You know, it's very I iconic, it's a hunter stew sort of thing, and uh, it's very, very classy, and you know, it's a little bit bitter at the start. But the more you dive in, the more you tend to appreciate and love it. And of course, I love the, 
and uh, the very flat long bread I don't know how they call it zapakanki yeah zapakanki I think that's how they call it very surprisingly cheesy and crunchy love it you know and of course and I do like the, the pock cutlet as well it's very very flat and the one thing I would say is like if you ever go to Poland then certainly do not buy a train ticket at the train station why chances are whoever you're going to speak to in that counter chance that they don't speak English I mean the vast majority of them no nope, no English and if someone is nice enough of course they will translate and then um, yeah so if you are trying to tell them to book you um, for the next station yeah they might book it for the wrong one because uh, most of the station are quite similar in terms of the name and even the pronunciation as well so it's mad and uh, yeah and also no one actually told me this like uh, when you jump on a train yeah or let's say the, the, the buses or the tram basically they have two different type of ticket student ticket and normal ticket and I tend to go to the reduced ticket I've just thought like oh I need to give in a discount to all the tourists uh, no they didn't actually specify it so it was uh, yeah it was a mistake so of course I learned I learned that from, I think at the latter stage of my adventure in Poland yeah it's a little mistake like that you know so of course and I definitely have the money to do that and I try not to cheat the system and uh, everywhere I go as a tourist I want to put my tourist money especially if I'm getting a good customer service and no one is treating me poorly of course I want to support that country as well so I like to state the fact and I like to support country that surely is giving me like so many like good vibes so certainly and I would just say it's like the one thing I've learned about traveling I've been to so many countries basically you can create your own agenda I think that's the most important thing so when you go to a place you create your own, your own agenda you know don't listen of course it's good to listen and read about a certain place but of course you have to filter what you what you take you know because like when you look at the western media in its form basically it's mainly designed to grab someone attention to of course and to clickbait you know it happens quite a lot so it's YouTubers as well, isn't it? So we're freaking clickbait. On. But I think the Western media is just even worse. I think the reason why, because uh, let's put it this way, traditional media is kind of dying. So the only way to stay relevant, so of course, is to clickbait and create some, let's say, misleading, let's say, report, you can understand. So certainly that's the reason why my channel is here. So I'll debunk so many things about, um, you know, about certain countries and then just stating the fact out there. Uh, yeah, so by the way, this will be the last upload about Poland. I think um, I've exhausted all the ideas I have about Poland and then um, now I'm not in the country. I don't want to like, you know, take advantage of Poland and just creating content about that. The thing about my channel is like a travel channel and of course I don't want to jump too, I don't want to lean too much towards and um, let's say politics. You know, I do like politics at times, but not like that i don't want my chance to focus on that but then again of course i think it's key in this day and age of course like, we have to acknowledge what is happening in the geopolitical spectrum of our world do you understand so yeah and i appreciate all your support all your love so and uh yeah it's highly appreciated and i hope you'll stay tuned for a new chapter a new uh, you know adventure new videos ideas you know the thing about me views like doesn't deter me to create content to get out of my comfort zone and create something new different right even when i get to china i'll create a lot of videos about china you know because wherever i am i would like to create video about that place but well, sadly when i'm in the uk here i don't like creating video about the uk why it's not because of views it's because like people don't like to be recorded to be filmed on camera and of course in you can't record kids as well you have to mind it or else someone will see you or someone will come up to you and punch you in the face yeah it's what it is man so that's the reason why i don't like the energy it doesn't encourage me like to vlog here in the uk and make videos right so anyways um that's it thank you so much for for your love and support and i don't normally do this a lot in the video when i'm creating documentary i don't want to come out of that and then start saying yo thank you subscribe like now nah, man i don't push it right if you like the content you'll subscribe you know so that's it man so of course and i have to be careful so in terms of freedom <laughs> you don't have freedom in the west just get out seriously if you think you have freedom you're living in cuckoo land so 
And that's it, let me know and uh, what video you love the most I've created so far about Poland. And I would like to know. And uh, yeah, I have so many like, I have so many like, um, like adventure, so many things planned in the future, right? So I can't wait to share that to the world for free, you know? So if you're new to the channel and you, you're thinking of subscribing, why not? Go ahead. That's it, ta-ta.